This has been a very emotional week for the United States of America and not just America, but the whole world. And this is why. You see, in 1684, British ships brought over the first African-American slaves to America, where they docked and ported in Philadelphia. Those slaves were brought over on ships where they were shackled, they were packed like sardines, they were beat, they were spit on, all for the sake of being sold as property to go to work on somebody else's property to make them money. This is why. During this time, these slaves were working on slave plantations. A lot of them were beat, their names were changed, they were stripped of their identity, they picked the cotton, all for the sake of making somebody else money and ridding that person of their own identity as a human being. This is why. You fast forward, a civil war was fought. That civil war was fought to end slavery. It was fought to get all of the slaves out of these slave plantations so that way they can go live as a normal human. You had women like Harriet Tubman during that time that was leading a revolt trying to get her people out of bondage because she recognized that the bondage that they were in was not acceptable. And she needed to lead them out of that bondage and so that way they can get to freedom, which is why that civil war was fought so that way it could end all of it. And so on April 9th, 1865, that was the end of the civil war only to start the civil rights movement. And during that time, you had things like Jim Crow laws. You had African-Americans being beat by police officers. Police officers being used to enforce a lot of these racial prejudices that existed in our country. They were being sprayed with water hoses. They were being forced to the back of the bus. They had crosses burned in their yards. This was America at that time. And this is why people were getting killed like Emmett Till for looking at a person foul. And that civil rights ended only in 1968, which is not that far away. This is why. This is why people are emotional in America right now. This is why people are sad. This is why people are hurt. And it's not just African Americans, it's us as a people in general. This is why. Our history as Americans has not always been bright. But you know guys, there's a flip side to this. This is why officers are upset. You see, when you're at home and there's an emergency, you hear somebody on the top of your roof or outside your door and you don't know what to do, the first thing you do is you call 911. And officers come to your house not knowing what to expect, not knowing that they can be ambushed at any time. This is why. You see, in 9-11, on 9-11-01, when terrorists hit the Twin Towers in New York City and those Twin Towers came crumbling down and everybody was running away, firefighters and police officers were running towards that to save your loved ones at home. This is why. You see in San Bernardino in 2013, when you had two terrorists that came into the city to go kill a whole bunch of innocent people for the sake of their religion, while officers are responding there knowing that there's gunshots being fired, that people are going down to the ground, getting hurt, this is why. You see, just last night, I responded to a city that was going up in flames because people were rioting because George Floyd was unjustly killed last week. And as I'm driving to that city, I'm hearing that there's people driving around in vehicles, firing from their vehicles with assault rifles. Assault rifles. I'm hearing that buildings are being burned. I'm hearing that the DMV is now crumbled. In Texas, a man that was defending his store was beat to death with a skateboard and stone in the front of his store for trying to save his property. This is why. You're wondering why I'm saying this is why. This is why America is up in shambles right now is because everybody has emotional ties to just the inhuman, inhumane treatment by everybody. But you gotta understand something. I'm on both sides of this coin. Not only as an African-American male, but as a police officer, as a Christian, it's okay to be hurt. But I want you to understand something. That right now, rioting is not what we need. Hate is not what we need. What you gotta realize is there are so many protesters out there that are doing right, that want things to change for rightful reasons, and they wanna do it peacefully. But when we allow other people to come into our communities and destroy our communities, and then leave the communities that they don't even live in, that's not the solution. 
This is why I stand here today at, before you, not only as an African-American male, a police officer, a Christian, I stand here because I know that we can change and I find hope in humanity. I need you to find that same hope. This is why you were created. This is why your children exist, to go out and make our communities better in the future. This is why I exist as a child of God, to go out and preach the gospel and so that way everybody would know that we do have light at the end of this dark tunnel. I love you guys so much and I'm leading with love, but I want you guys to understand something that there is so much pain that is deeply rooted, is deeply enriched in our, in our, in our history in America and some people don't know that history. I did show you guys graphic images in this video and that was for a purpose, but I want you guys to understand something that those officers that you guys are crucifying right now, we understand it. We stand with you. The, the death of George Floyd was unacceptable. We stand with you. Know that. And if you ever call 911, if your wife ever calls 911, if your grandma ever calls 911, if your mom ever calls 911, police officers are still going to answer that call. This is why because we accepted an oath to protect you, to protect life. And I also took up an oath to call out wrong. So when those officers are wrong, I will call them out. And you have officers across the country right now, they're gonna call them out too. We are in this together. I love you and remember, this is why.